Hello, I'm Hugh Collingborn and I'm the instructor in this series of tutorials about programming for beginners. In this video I'm going to be looking at data types. What's the difference between one variable and another? Why is one a leaf and the other is a flower? Just as a leaf and a flower are different types of things in real life, so each piece of data in a computer program has its own data type. For example, Hello World has the string data type. It's a series of characters, H-E-L-L-O, etc., all strung together. But 10 has a number or integer data type. And that's important, because the type of a piece of data determines the sort of operation that can be done with it. Some operations on some data types just don't make sense and will result in an error. Let's have a look at this. This is my simple Ruby program in this case, and I've got two pieces of data, two variables, msg equals hello world, which is a string, and I want to try to add num, the variable num, which is 10, to it, and display the result. In Ruby I just puts it like this, let me run this program, and you can see there's an error, can't convert num, which is an integer type, into a string. It just doesn't make sense to try to add two incompatible bits of data together. Now consider this. If I add 1 and 2, what do I get? Well, let's try it out. Hmm. So I get 12, not 3. Well, that's because 1 and 2 are string data types. If they were integer data types, I would get 3. Now in Ruby, the string data type has these quotes around it. So let's change them to integers by removing the quotes. Yep, and there, this time I get three. Up to now I've been using the Ruby language. In Ruby, I can just create a variable by writing a name and assigning a value. But many languages don't allow that. Now let's look at Pascal. In Pascal, val1 here and val2 are char types. That is, they can hold a single character. If I accidentally assign integers to them, the Pascal compiler complains. You can see that when I try to run it. And it shows me down here uh, these error messages, incompatible types. Now this is actually good news for me because it lets me spot an error in my code, a bug, before it causes problems. And to fix it, I just have to make sure that the declared data types and the values assigned are compatible. Well, the declared data types here are chars, and I've entered integers, so let me just change that by putting quote characters to tell Pascal to treat them as char character types. Now I compile it again. Successfully built, here's my program, and as before, it adds or it appends the two to the one, and it displays the result. Languages such as Pascal that enforce declared types are said to be strongly typed languages. Languages such as Ruby that deduce or infer the type of a variable when some piece of data is assigned, they are sometimes said to be duck typed. And that comes from the expression, if it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, then it's a duck. Similarly, if a variable looks and behaves like a number, and I'm talking here in Ruby, not in Pascal, if it looks and behaves like a number, or it looks and behaves like a string, then Ruby treats it as a number or as a string. Sometimes it may be useful to change the type of a piece of data. For example, maybe the user enters a string, such as 12, and you may want to change it to an integer, such as 12 without the quotes here, in order to do some sort of calculation. I'll explain how to change data types in my next video. Learn programming and the business of programming at www.bitwisecourses.com.